Ask the family struggling to make ends meet if that extra few hundred dollars in their mother's paycheck from the payroll tax cut we passed made a difference. They'll tell you. Ask them how much that earned income tax credit or that child tax credit makes a difference in paying the bills at the end of the month. When an army of lobbyists and special interests spent millions to crush Wall Street reform, we stood up for what was right. We said the time has come to protect homeowners from predatory mortgage lenders. The time's come to protect consumers from credit card companies that jack up rates without warning. We signed the strongest consumer financial protection in history. That's what we did together. Remember how many years we tried to stop big banks from collecting taxpayer subsidies for student loans while the cost of college kept slipping out of reach? Together we put a stop to that once and for all. We used those savings to make college more affordable. We invested in early childhood education and community college and HBCUs. Ask the engineering student at an HBCU who thought he might have to leave school if that extra Pell Grant assistance mattered. These Republicans in Congress like to talk about job creators. How about doing something real for job creators? Pass this jobs bill, and every small business owner in America, including 100,000 black-owned businesses, will get a tax cut. You say you're the party of tax cuts? Pass this jobs bill, and every worker in America, including nearly 20 million African-American workers, will get a tax cut. Pass this jobs bill and prove you'll fight just as hard for a tax cut for ordinary folks as you do for all your contributors. More than a lot of other folks in this country, we know about HARP. The people in this room know about HARP. And we don't give in to discouragement. Throughout our history, change has often come slowly. Progress often takes time. We take a step forward, sometimes we take two steps back, sometimes we get two steps forward and one step back, but it's never a straight line. It's never easy. And I never promised easy. Easy has never been promised to us. But we've had faith. We have had faith. We've had that good kind of crazy that says you can't stop marching. Even when folks are hitting you over the head, you can't stop marching. Even when they're turning the hoses on, you, you can't stop. Even when somebody fires you for speaking out, you can't stop. Even when it looks like there's no way, you find a way, you can't stop. Through the mud and the muck and the driving rain, we don't stop. Because we know the rightness of our cause. Widening the circle of opportunities, standing up for everybody's opportunities. Increasing each other's prosperity. We know our cause is just. It's a righteous cause. So in the face of troopers and tear gas, folks stood unafraid. Led somebody like John Lewis to wake up after getting beat within an inch of his life on Sunday. He wakes up on Monday. We're going to go march. <laughs> Dr. King once said, before we reach the majestic shores of the Promised Land, there is a frustrating and bewildering wilderness ahead. We must still face prodigious hilltops of opposition and gigantic mountains of resistance. But with patient and firm determination, we will press on. So I don't know about you, CBC, but the future rewards those who press on. With patient and firm determination, I'm going to press on for jobs. I'm going to press on for equality. I'm going to press on for the sake of our children. I'm going to press on for the sake of all those families who are struggling right now. I don't have time to feel sorry for myself. I don't have time to complain 
I'm going to press on. 